Hello boys and girls. I'm glad you're here to join us at Ryman Gardens again. One of the things I really enjoy about coming to Ryman is to see all of the different things that are growing here. All of the different plants that grow and the different colored flowers and the different colored leaves and shapes of leaves. So when you look around, there are so many different things that you can grow to appreciate just by observing. Now, when we go off to school, for example, we often find that there are lots of people there that are very different than us. And one of the things that I want you to think about as we're listening to the story today is how are the different people, the different colors and shapes and sizes, like the plants that we might see here at Ryman Garden. The book we're going to read today is The Day You Begin. It's by Jacqueline Woodson and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. The Day You Begin. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin color, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way the words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the class will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto, from Venezuela, your teacher says so softly and beautifully that your name and homeland sounds like flowers to you blooming the first bright notes of a song. Flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Isn't that wonderful? There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shyla said. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they all turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. So they've traveled all over the world. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat wave has lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying or sailing or going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and chick kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Uh, we hear those things sometimes. Though. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, 
steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. And books can help you with that. They can take you many places you'll never travel to. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina, too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. when you're visiting with new friends this fall that you are able to make time to help others become friends and to help them feel welcome in whatever spaces you're sharing together. Until next time, thanks for joining us here at Ryman Gardens.